Alright guys, today we're going to be testing one of those uh, defragger rogues. This one is brand new, it's got an interesting name, and we're going to be using Windows 7 because it behaves slightly differently in 7. So let's have a look at it. So you run the executable, and you'll notice that Task Manager is blocked. So if we try to run Task Manager, we'll get this alert saying that it found a hard disk problem. It'll scan for hard drive errors. And you can start the scan or ask me later. You've also got some information down here. Executable just went away. And let's go ahead and start the scan process. So it scans my hard drive for errors. <clears throat> and it says it found seven critical errors. Now let me ask you a question. If you have hard drive errors or file system errors in Windows, what do you do? You would run check disk, right? Well, what is this rogue called? That's right, check disk. And yeah, it might be a underhand kind of name in the rogue check disk. But that's going to be confusing as hell because now whenever anybody says check disk, I'm going to be thinking, "Oh, are you talking about check disk the utility, the command line utility, or check disk the rogue?" See, it's, it's confusing as hell. And for some reason the scan takes forever, so... Gotta wait for that. Alright, so it finishes its scan. It says the 11 errors. And, like I said, Task Manager is blocked. I believe Command Prompt is blocked as well. Well, maybe not. Hmm. That's interesting. And in Internet Explorer, if we can get that open... In, in um, Internet Explorer, you'll see that you can't change your internet options or anything like that. Can't run Windows Update for some reason. So, yeah, that's cool. All right, like a, let's see, we got the same system status. We got the settings and options. Only one language. <clears throat> a bunch of options here. Let's see if we can get some uh, help and support. And. It's really not much to look at in the support center. And you'll see that the frequently asked questions, they've got like, you know, offensive questions like, give me my money back, or I didn't purchase this stuff, or why do I get so many alerts, or who are you, what can you say about your company, and all that shit. So, yeah, not much different there. If we uh, try to enable defrag HDD repair, It'll ask me to put in a registration email, activation code, and go into the check disk safe browser here. Try to get to a payment page. And it's costing us uh, $79.50. It still says Ultra Defragger for some reason. And verified by Visa and all that crap. <clears throat> And they it appears they do have a valid uh, digital certificate, so that's all right. So yeah, um, let's try to run a uh, defragmentation. And as you can see, it's not going to go into fake safe mode automatically. What you have to do is wait like 20 or 30 minutes for a uh, pop-up to come up, and then it restarts your computer into this fake safe mode. But it's really not worth anything, and it's not worth me waiting 30 minutes. So, that is pretty much it for check disk. Uh, if there's a high demand, I'll make a uh, removal video on it. Probably isn't going to be a high demand, but... So yeah, that's it.